Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Age of Calamity, episode 56. Um, I made a few discoveries off-screen. Um, firstly, that there are some issues up here that are going to force me to play as characters that I don't care to play as, so that's unfortunate. Um, but we'll deal with those as we come with them. Um, I also found that the witch mission is affected by the Blood Moon seems to be randomized because I saw it pop up over, I believe it was on this mission, and then I was doing another mission to farm some materials and then it moved over here. So I think it's just kind of random which one is affected, uh, which is okay, I suppose. Um, I also wonder if that even means that we have to do them. Um, I, um, I'm not so sure about that. So, I think, um, let's do some of these other missions that we've got scattered around, and then I will look into that between episodes, and then, uh, we'll figure out... Oh, that could actually be pretty good. We'll figure out what's up with the Blood Moon later on. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do first is get Taba's Enhanced Ability, because that sounds like it'd be pretty good. Uh, the flight range is being remodeled to meet Rivali's exacting standards. He has ordered the workers to build targets shaped like monsters, sending them on a mad dash for materials. Well, we seem to have those materials, so we're good. The workers built an array of monster targets at the flight range. Imbued with the power of otherworldly stones, they were hard to hit, lending the power the wor lending the warriors leading the warriors to hone their marksmanship abilities. It is late, and I should not be playing video games right now. I mean, it's not that late. Your strong attacks finisher has been enhanced. Oh, that's good, I suppose. Not really sure what exactly that entails. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. It's not that late, but clearly my ability to speak and read English has been impacted, so maybe it's, it's still too late for me to be playing games anyway. Um, but let's also start upgrading some of these runes, in particular bombs. Uh, I do like my my bombs. One of the scientists at the ancient tech lab is looking for a substance that's springy and bouncy, but at the same time explosive. You know, just the thing. I do. You get the Master Coke, a seal of approval. Using the Choo Choo Jelly, the researcher achieved results beyond anyone's expectations. The world was full of, full of bursting with strange phenomena, he said with a chuckle. Alrighty, goody goody. We also want stasis. Researcher heading up to head leading. Bleh, bleh, uh, my goodness, heading up the stasis upgrade project hasn't eaten his favorite rice in weeks, and progress has slowed to a crawl as a result. For science's sake, get this man his rice. Let's get this man his rice then. With a bowl of Hylian rice in his system, the researcher was his old peppy self again. He and his team made a series of discoveries, among them a way to, of strengthening stasis. Awesome. That's good and helpful. Um, I also came to the realization that I've been an idiot uh, for a very long time, because what I could have been doing was taking Mifa as my primary, and then when it lets me choose a secondary, have these characters that I need to level up, uh, because they gain levels just by being in the mission, or gain experience, rather. So I could have just been leveling them up that way this whole time, but I haven't, because it just literally did not occur to me until, like, five minutes ago. So, that's unfortunate. But uh, now we know, and hopefully we can use that to our advantage uh, in the future. Um, let's see if we can find another combat mission that we can do. I guess um, we've got some stuff with the Divine Beast, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Get started on some of that. Um, looks like we get a lot of goodies, like uh, gemstones and stuff for this one, so sounds good to me. Alright. Uh, I noticed that it wants us to focus on the guardians, uh, so let's, uh, let's build up our special attack. Defeat many enemies before the time runs out. Oh, right, I forgot I have my shields. Awesome. <laughs> I, I do like the Divine Beasts, they're fun. Okay. Um. <laughs> just 
blast their faces apart. Uh, am I focused on anything in particular? No, it looks like I'm just uh, just trying to take stuff out in general. So maybe I misunderstood the... Uh... There we go. I feel like I used to be able to turn faster with that. But, oh well. I, uh, I still took out a lot of stuff, so... I think uh, in this mission the uh, ground bombardment is most useful because there are enemies in the air, but um, they are definitely not as numerous. And in this mission where we have to kill as many enemies as possible, it seems like it's probably better. Is that wind blight? What's going on? I see the skull thing there, and it's moving really fast, so yeah, it's wind blight. Okay. Oh, you know, it probably just showed me at the top of the screen and I just totally didn't even notice. I was very focused on killing stuff on the ground. Well, then let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit him with some of this, see how he likes that. Oh, he doesn't like that very much at all, so I could just sit here and, uh... Wow, he's just... Oh my goodness, wow, that almost killed him straight up. Awesome, I'll take it. Windblade Ganon is withdrawn for now. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and use the bombardment again. I feel like um, the trick to that is uh, aiming as far away from you as possible, interestingly enough, because the circle doesn't actually indicate where the area is gonna... like it just indicates where you're shooting at, not where like the area that is affected. Because the farther they go from you, they spread out a lot more, and so you can hit more targets. Um, which is something that we kind of need to do, I guess. I hit some stuff, but not as much as I had hoped. Okay, there are a lot of guys here, and I would like there to be not so many guys here. Okay, well, I mean, they're going down pretty quick, and... Oh, hello. Just uh, do some of that. Take out a bunch of them all at once. Awesome. I'm getting... I think I'm... Uh, I hope that I'm getting better at controlling the Divine Beast. Whoops. He says while immediately screwing up. Uh, Vamado in particular, I think is a little tricky, because it's the only one that's got, like, those two... It's got two modes of operation, uh, which I guess I would call, you know, fighter mode and bomber mode. <laughs> you know, there's one where it focuses directly in front of it, um, and, you know, it, it's for good for shooting stuff in the air, and then there's this, where it's, you know, focused more on the ground. Um and good for hitting all the stuff on the ground. But not so good at hitting stuff in the air unless it's like right in front of it. Let's uh, start turning in this direction, I think. Let's, uh, how, how much can I hit doing that? Not as much as I would have liked, actually, truth be told. Oh, wind light's back. That's unfortunate for him. Let's uh, clear out some more stuff on the ground. I think, um, oh my god, okay. Um, yeah, this isn't, uh, this isn't good, actually. I've got a minute left and I'm not much more than two-thirds of the way through. Uh, so, oh, that helps quite a bit, though. Uh, so, um, I gotta kind of get over to where all the stuff is, which is kind of more off to the north. And again, I, I want to be focused more on the stuff on the ground, because that's where all the clusters of enemies are. Oh, my goodness, there's so many guardians around here. So we'll... I don't think I can do this. 
I should be using the special attacks more. I, I recognize that. I, uh, I still... I, it's actually recharging a lot faster than I'm expecting it to. Oh, goodness. Okay, that did not go terribly well. I don't think they're in range of my light blades at the present. Come on. Oh my goodness, please, I'm so close. Can I do it? I don't think I can do it. I got Thunderblight. Okay. Can I hit some stuff over there? Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> Brutal. I was too away. That sucks. That feels real bad, man. Okay, well, let's uh, try that again. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, uh, now that I've remembered just how fast the special attack gauge recharges, hopefully I can use that a little bit more to my advantage. <laughs> just uh, sanitize the landscape a little bit there. I, I do like the Divine Bees. I, I know I've said it before. But, of, of course they were going to do that, right? Like, they can't introduce something as friggin' awesome as the Divine Bees and not let you control them in some capacity. Let's just do some of that. Um, let's, um... Let's test the range on this, because a lot of the stuff is, like, way over there. Oh my goodness, look at the range on that. I hit stuff that was, like, halfway across the map on... Well, I mean, maybe not, like, that extreme, but... Really far away. Oh, I... Oh, that was a whiff. Oh, well. Come on. Wow, that thing just did not want to go down. Okay. Okay. Well, now that I've kind of gotten back into the groove of using the Divine Beast, uh, I think this will go a lot better. Let's get some of that going. I don't know how much stuff I can hit, like, directly beneath me. Not really. But I can... You know leave a big chunk out of them regardless okay I think this is going better oh yeah this is going way better good I I'm just gonna completely ignore wind blight cannon I see no reason to worry about it because I can keep my shield up indefinitely uh, and I'm just gonna focus on all the stuff on the ground because that's like I say most of the targets seem to be there Okay, what's the range on that? Okay, that was that was a fair fair amount of range. Let's uh, try to take out some of the sky watchers here. I think that'll be good. We'll uh, take out the stuff on that little plateau over there. And now we've got a new beam cannon to move. Okay, that's some good stuff. Come on. That should hopefully take care of all of them. Yeah, good. And then switch back into ground mode. Bombard those guys. Yeah, that looks like they took out the whole line of guardians. It's good. Yeah, this is going way better. Cool, I got him. What are they shooting at? That was weird. It was like a default target or something like that. Oh well, we got it. Took me a second try, but that's alright. 
I'm really not looking forward to the one with uh, Varudania. Uh, I, I really don't like Varudania as much as any of the others. Uh, but I like the other three. <laughs> They're good. Okay. Um, so I noticed the sky was blue there. And sometimes it's red. I've seen that before. So I assume that when it's red, that's when a Blood Moon mission has popped up. And now that it was blue, yeah, I don't see a Blood Moon mission. So that's something. And that tells me that the Blood Moon, maybe it explained it and I just... I didn't process it correctly, but I think the Blood Moon gives you extra rewards, I suppose? Um, but, oh well, um, like I say, I'll research that after I'm done recording this one. Um, increased chance of great success in fusing. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, if I can reselect it again. A Goron knows of blacksmith uh, from ancient Goron history who forged weapons in Death Mountain's flames. He wants to learn that lost art, but needs materials for working with fire. Well, that sounds like a worthy cause, I suppose. Goron failed to rediscover that ancient art of smithing, but he said he got closer in his research due to what you brought him. In thanks, he taught you a Goron smithing technique. Awesome. Um, painter's inspiration... Painter traveling all over Hyrule can't seem to do justice to a theme that's near and dear to him. Bring his, this frustrated artist materials to inspire his work. Um, let's actually hold off on that in case I need those Hytale Lizards somewhere else. Because uh, this is another one of those infinitely repeatable ones. Or at least multiple repeatable ones. Um, so let's get on to this one, I suppose. Uh, the researcher with a ravenous appetite has recalibrated her eating habits, preferring to fuel up with plants and vegetables to uh, help her find some palatable produce. Well, that sounds good. Wow. Good, job. good. She's uh, she's getting healthy. I uh, I fully endorse that. Researcher enjoyed what you brought her recal enjoyed what you brought for her recalibrated meals. She soon had her eureka moment and found a way to make the Sheikah sensor still more powerful, or more powerful still. It's equivalent. They got us some frogs. Thank you, people of Akala. Um, let's see. Is there another like combat mission we can do? What's, what's going on here? Hyrule's greatest warrior. Um, oh, who's who's that? That mystery one there. I can't tell just by looking at it. But uh, oh, looks like we got some good stuff. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll call it an episode uh, after that. Alright. So, yeah, it's one of these, and we're just... Oh, defeat Rivali? Gladly. That should have stasis, I suppose. Ouch. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Alright. Alright. All right, all right. Let's try a new approach. Wow, he's got a lot of knockback. And he's not open for very long. Okay. That's good to know. There we go. Cool, okay. Just kind of had to pay a little bit more attention, but we got it. Easy peasy. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't, I haven't like particularly noticed um, if like how much shorter the uh, cooldown times are now that we've upgraded um, the Sheikah Slate. Um, but it could just be like. Obviously, I'm a little bit focused on other things at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'm inclined to take their word for it. I'll have to maybe compare it to to other videos, but that's fine. I, I don't think I care enough. I, I was going to upgrade them at some point anyway, just in the, in the name of getting 100% completion on everything. So, I'm not overly worried about it. Okay. Ah, no. Cool. Uh, 
cool. Okay. I meant to dodge out of the way of that, but that's fine. It looks like it doesn't matter if you go through it. Just so long as you are in dodge mode uh, while the attack is supposed to hit you, I suppose. Alright. Color me surprised. Didn't expect you'd be able to corner me like this. Yeah, well, I did. Master Koga has appeared. Alright. Oh, cool. And he's giving me some special attack fodder. How kind of him. This has got cinch written all over it, he says. Alright. Okay. Cool. There we go. Can I... I know some characters you can hit them in the head, like um, Moblins in particular. Okay, cool. I got it. I was afraid that uh, I didn't get that in time. <laughs> Is he going to, like, fall over and start to pout? I believe it. Um, but yeah, like, I, I don't know if you can do that with, like, major characters like this. Ooh! Nope. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Does he gain any advantage from eating the banana? I, I don't... I thought maybe it like would heal him a little bit, but that didn't appear to to be what happened. Oh, oops. Well, didn't time that particularly well. Probably should have saved that for Link in any case. Or, in fact, whoever is that final mystery character. No, that's not the one I wanted. I am a Doongus. Oh! Hey, there we go. Okay. Cool. Alright. Is that going to kill him? I don't know if that's going to kill him. No, it's not. But this will. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, and Mifa leveled up. Awesome. Where are my minions when I need them? I don't know. You summoned some at the beginning. What happened to that? Link has appeared. Defeat Link. Alright, let's uh, defeat Link then. Mm, that didn't do as much damage to the weak point gauge as I would have liked. But then again, I guess this is kind of an end game mission, so the weak point gauges are probably getting a lot more resilient as well. Well, uh, we'll just keep stun locking him. Oh, or not. That works. Well, that was a bunch of poopy. But I guess that's why you be a little more careful about when you use your special attacks. Ouch. Ouch! Excuse you. It's my job to stun lock you and cheese my way to victory. Not yours. I am the protagonist. Actually, I guess Link is technically the protagonist, isn't he? Well, mm, even that I'm not sure about. With the way this game's set up, I suppose Zelda is really the protagonist. Because she's the one that we follow the whole time. Link is um, kind of in the background for most of it. Especially since I don't play with it very much. <laughs> even more of the background than usual. Rip Link, I guess. Uh, okay. Harbinger Ganon has a... Oh. <laughs> okay. I kind of didn't see that coming. Maybe I should have. But, uh, I didn't. And now I'm kind of regretting using all my special attacks. But, uh, I don't know. I think... Oh, no. This is easy. Easy game. Not worried at all. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What is going on there? What was that, what was all that about? Oh well, it doesn't matter cuz he's almost dead. Wow, how is Rivoli was tougher than this? What the heck, man? How's that make any sense? 
Oh well, doesn't much matter now, because it's almost dead. It's almost, I said it's almost dead? There we go, okay. Now you die. The power of me for compels you. Alright. Uh, glad I made it through One Piece. I'm glad you made it through One Piece as well, Mifa. Alright, 555. Nice little time there. Got some resale weapons, that's good. Uh, got some fusion materials for a character that I'm never going to use. Ah, see, the sky was red there, so there's a Blood Moon mission somewhere, I think. Um, but, yeah, I never much cared for the uh, the aesthetic of the outfit of the wild. Yep, there it is. Um, okay, so I'm learning a little bit. Um, yeah, I didn't like the outfit of the wild very much. It kind of looks a little doofy to me. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm never going to play as Link anyway, so I suppose it's kind of a moot point. Um... So I think that's probably a, a good stopping point. Um, on the next episode, uh, I will find out if there's any advantage to doing the Blood Moon. Um, and if so, then I will relay it and um, we'll go ahead and do that mission. Otherwise, we'll proceed around Hyrule and um, slowly but surely make our way towards repairing Terrico. I'm not sure how much of a priority we want that to be. Um, but yeah, we'll 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 get cracking on some of those missions on probably the next episode or the one thereafter. Um, so in the meantime, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all on the next episode.